In this video, I'm going to talk about how to overcome homophobia as an entrepreneur. This topic actually came out of nowhere. I randomly got this question from this kid named Kyle that said, how do you deal with the overload of homophobia in this online space? And that in itself is a, is a very interesting question because I promise you, homophobia isn't just in this online space. It's everywhere, guys. And I've been dealing with it my whole life. And it actually started when when I first tried to become an entrepreneur and I told my family about it, I had this cousin and I remember being at a family party and my I, I shared my, my vision with my cousin, what I wanted to do, the business I wanted to start and how I wanted to serve people. And he was just straight up like, you'll never make it. You're a woman and you're a lesbian and you're not even the hot lesbian. You're like the, the ugly manly lesbian. You're never going to make it, blah, blah, blah. And I can't tell you how much that one conversation stunted my growth and not because of the person saying these things to me, but because how I internalized what was being said to me and it actually like paralyzed me. It made me feel like I wasn't worthy enough. Um, and it literally like maybe three to five years passed where like I just had this belief in my head where i was just not good enough because i wasn't a white man or a man a straight man <laughs> and i just want to tell you if you're like um uh, the 16 year old laura right if if you're uh someone in the lgbtqia space uh or, or resonate with that i want you to know that yes homophobia is out there yes there's a lot of old heads that are very homophobic that's true but like you can't let that stop you like it doesn't even fucking matter it wasn't until i realized that like i think i w watched like a gary v video that was like it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter if they're homophobic or not the marketplace doesn't give a fuck if you are gay or straight or white or black or yellow or blue or anything the marketplace is looking for value creators and they're looking for their problem solved if you're able to articulate how you solve someone's problem ideally you're solving rich people problems if you're able to well articulate how you solve that problem and how it's going to benefit that person they're not going to give a fuck who you're fucking in the bedroom okay or what what you look like it's irrelevant um and just to shine a light on sam altman right if you don't know who Sam, Sam Altman is, he's the founder of OpenAI. He also, I think, is one of the VCs behind Y Combinator. Um, and, like, I didn't even know he was gay until, like, he got fired from... The board fired him from OpenAI, and I had to do um, some research on him to make a video. And then, like, the media was trying to trash him because he just got fired. And at the same time, he just got married to some dude. Um, and that's when I found out he was gay. But, like, nobody cares. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter who you're sleeping with. None of that actually matters. What matters is, are you able to solve a problem for the marketplace? That's what's going to decide whether or not someone does business with you. And I I know I'm simplifying this because like the, the answer I gave to to Kyle when he asked me this question is like just be the best version of you create the best product possible like solve as many problems as possible because the marketplace will be on your side always and then you become the powerful one you are in control and you decide whether or not someone is eligible to do business with you right it, it, because it's your power zone now you've proven that what you bring to the table to the marketplace is way more valuable than anybody's opinion of you and a lot of people tell you yeah first impressions are everything and yes they they are really really important but guys i look like this i'm not gonna change the way i look to make somebody else feel better about talking to me i don't give a fuck and neither should you and it should never stop you and what this what this kid said was interesting he said interesting insights which totally makes sense i've just been having unproductive thoughts about this issue and this will definitely help propel me towards my goal what i said 
was don't let it paralyze you right you deserve everything you've ever wanted and you just got to go out and get it become the best version of you and solve big problems for the marketplace so they don't have a choice but to buy from you and then you have the power to decide if you want to work with them or not and it's it's so important because you don't know especially in um, the LGBT space like you don't know how someone grew up right getting to know more people that identify as uh, trans uh, uh, gay lesbian whatever they've had a very traumatic childhood and like so have I but like I'm so grateful for my childhood I was never sexually abused like there's a lot of people that are that are sexually abused by their parents or they get sold into like pedophilia sex trafficking things by their parents or family members I could I, I've had the best childhood compared to someone that went through that right it's just my mom walked out on me when I was seven years old and like now we have a great relationship like I am so grateful for my upbringing and I have a wonderful like the best fucking girlfriend in the world my future wife and I'm just so grateful for all the learning lessons and and you know sometimes it gets really tough other get it dude like life is life dude but like once you believe that you were put on this earth for a reason and like the reality is life is meaningless but you're put on this earth to give life meaning because by itself it's meaningless and once you understand that concept it changes everything because you're destined for something you're destined for greatness if you choose to become great right the, the the interesting part is like the choice is yours and if you're gay lesbian trans whatever i feel like it's it's my moral obligation to share this message with you because the system that society has created to make you feel suppressed um or oppressed i guess is the word um it's all lies like you're not oppressed by anybody you can choose to be great period and nobody can take that away from you right it's building that resilience it's having that shitty fucking childhood and still winning despite it right like it's all about your choices and having the resilience and grit and just you don't fucking give up like you don't give up you choose to become the best version of you you choose to create value in the marketplace uh th the value you create you're able to capture a percentage of it and that's how you fucking get rich guys a lot of fucking problems are solved with just putting some money in your pocket and 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 not being in poverty level right like just learn a high value skill set like don't just learn it apply it go get results go out into the marketplace and you will make money it's it's capitalism is the best system in the world and it's sad to see lgbt people get sold a version of a shitty of shitty capitalism that was like way back in the day and it's not the capitalism of today like conscious capitalism is where it's at and then they buy into the bullshit of socialism okay that's the biggest fucking lie ever um and communism even worse like you're being sold these lies so you don't have to be accountable for your actions but that's what gives you freedom once you have freedom Right, or for you to be able to have freedom you have to be accountable for your actions you have to take absolute responsibility for your actions that is when you stop being a victim you become a victor because only you are in control no one can fucking tell you that they're in control that's why it's so important i didn't realize this was also a really like hot topic either this is the first time someone's ever messaged me this but homophobia is real dude like it, you're not gonna fucking stop it if like if what you want is to stop homophobia like you're focused on the wrong things like i i was told i don't remember who told me this but like whatever you focus on 
is where energy flows and what is attracted to you so if you if you focus on things like the war against drugs or like you see how it's a war against drugs you're attracting more drugs right like instead of ending drugs right like instead of focusing on sobriety <laughs> you're focusing on drugs even though the phrase is the war against drugs and that's how they get you like you don't un i don't think people understand how important words are words are a spell you are a fucking magical being whatever you say you attract whatever you say that's my point so focus on what you actually want. Don't focus on ending homophobia. Focus on love is love. Like, bring more love into this world. Focus on the people that love you for who you are. Guys, everybody else can kick fucking rocks. Who gives a fuck? Like, it really doesn't matter. And again, don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the bullshit communist socialism trap because it's not true it's 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 the worst economical system out there uh for society the best economical system is capitalism and more specifically conscious capitalism right Be coming out into the world and creating value with no ill intent and wanting win-win situations okay because what is money money is just energy right if i don't have the energy to cook food for myself i'm going to get my stored energy which is money and give it to someone in exchange for their effort and energy into cooking food so i can put it in my mouth right money is just stored energy so what can you do to acquire other people's stores of energy that they're too lazy to do all right so go out and solve big problems in the marketplace because because you being gay or you being trans or you being a lesbian is not going to stop people from paying you. <laughs> and I say that because all I do is focus on volume, right? All I do in my business is focus on volume. And I've had experiences where I have like appointment setters reach out to people to book a call with me. They hear the offer, they love it, and then boom, they watch a video of me. They do more research on me and they're like, hey, sorry, I'm Christian, I don't believe in this, bye. And that is okay. Like, I'm not here to change people's beliefs or religion. No, if they can't see past that and they can't see the value that I create in the marketplace and want a piece of it, good for them. They will find someone else that will help them. But it's not going to be me. I decided a long time ago that I get to choose who I work with. And if the way I look and my beliefs offend you, you don't have to work with me. It's okay. I don't need everyone to like me. Shit, I don't need anybody to like me except for me. <laughs> so, like, I, I, I hope you listen to this video on repeat because... It's not your job to fucking cater to homophobic people. Like, who gives a fuck? Fuck them. Like, <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous at this point. But just know, homophobia isn't just in the United States. Like, it actually gets worse once you leave the United States. Okay? So, like, it's ex it exists. Um, and it's not going to stop existing. All you can do is focus on you. You can't focus on anything outside of you. You become the best version of yourself, period. When you become the best version of yourself, you become more valuable to the marketplace. You go out and create solutions that solve problems for rich people. You capture a percentage of the value that you create with those solutions and you become rich as fuck, okay? Like, it's it's literally, like, I know I'm dumbing it down, but like, that's what some of you guys need, the most simplified version of that. And if you need help on understanding, like, what type of solutions are valuable to the marketplace, watch my YouTube videos, right? If, if you already have a solution and wanna make a scalable impact, watch my youtube videos book a call with my team to see if we can help you grow but my point is entrepreneurship and the marketplace don't give a fuck who you sleep with what you look like or any of that stuff okay 
so get that shit out of your head don't get into analysis paralysis because a lot of you will watch this and just fucking think about this all day long no don't fucking think about shit just go out and do go be the best version of you go create value in the marketplace go capture that value like just do don't think like there's nothing to think about right as long as your intentions are set and your intentions are not bad intentions it's good you want to create win-win situations right and you you have to be a type of person that wants a net positive for society not a net negative the universe does not the universe god whatever you want to call it does not reward net negatives okay it has to be a net positive for society for you to win it's really really important that you understand that um but slide into my dms guys slide into my dms with questions so i can make more videos like this i can do more rants um i never thought something like this was gonna pop up in my dms but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i love making these videos for you guys the second one um but yeah don't let hate win love is love do your thing i don't care what you do <laughs> but as long as you love yourself you choose to become the best version of yourself and you're providing a net positive impact on society you're gonna win you're gonna win the only way you lose in that route is if you're working on the wrong things and then you just lose time which is the only thing that we have but that is a story for another video <laughs> i hope you guys have a great one i'll see you in the next video